Hey pretty people, welcome back to the channel. We just pulled in the bricks and minifigs in Austin, Texas. Woo! To do some Lego shopping. Now, I haven't been in here in about a month and I've heard that the inventory has completely changed so I'm really excited to check that out. But also, y'all, they have some really good deals going on right now. This month is the anniversary of bricks and minifigs in Austin, Texas here. So they have buy one, get one on bulk Lego. They're doing 20% off on Technic sets and they're gonna be sprinkling some really good Lego deals from now throughout the end of August. So definitely check them out. Anyways, Ross. Are you ready to head inside? Let's do it. Let's go. Oh wait, where are we going, Ross? Bricks and minifigs. Bricks and minifigs. Bricks and bricks and bricks and minifigs. Woo! <laughs> Months since I've been here, it's been so long. We just got into bricks and minifigs. What are you seeing, Ross? Man, I'm seeing all these cool poly bags and these foil packs. I don't think I've seen this one before. B one looks pretty cool. I see a lot of like Luke Skywalker, the Flash. They have a lot of cool like just random builds here. Is this what you guys in Europe get? I'm kind of jealous. This is the Indominus Rex breakout. First time they did the Indominus Rex, right? Because that's from Jurassic World 1. Yeah. So it's kind of cool seeing it. They have since made more like sets that come with Indominus Rex, but I remember this one like going for a lot. Just the like figure was almost like $300. The dino? Yeah. Oh gosh, point. it's a scary looking dino. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah, I'm scared. I remember watching that movie, it was terrifying. Mickey oh, and Friends, the fire station. I love it. So we just got the new wave of Mickey and Friends and I love the figures in that. Definitely stay tuned for a city up how we're incorporating those into our Disney World, but that's really cool to see that one here. Check this out over here. We have the legendary Power Miners. Um, I've actually been seeing a lot of like social media posts lately about how great Power Miners is. I'm, I'm glad it's getting the uh, the love it deserves. Whoa. Yeah, I used to have this one. That's so fun. I think I had one, of, maybe not this one, I had another one. This is called Lava Traz, like Alcatraz. Oh, that's good. So you that's can really like good. Pick, up the, uh, pick up the lava monsters. So I never actually had this lava monster. I had the rock version of it. It. So it's really cool. He's got like a mohawk. <laughs> it's a really so like, interesting theme. It kind of builds off of Rock Raiders. Oh, and then moving over this way, they have a ton of Technic sets in stock right now. This is pretty cool to see. And also, y'all, just so you know, they are all 20% off. So if you are into Technic, you like these. Technic kind of scares me, but these do look really nice. Definitely come check them out. These are 20% off. So that's a really good deal. Oh, and then this one, Ross. Check it out. Oh, uh, is it like Optimus Prime? Whoa, that is heavy. What? I think that's metal. That's cool. Metal, rock on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool though. This is a metal Lego piece. That's so cool. What? I've never heard of that. Yeah, you kind of- Oh yeah. Whoa. That's so cool. This is old school. I actually had this set. I remember because you could like kind of open it up and it's like a little HQ, like Arctic Explorer oh, kind of thing. So fun. Wow, these are old. 2000, yep, I remember that. The Arctic bundle. Oh yeah. my gosh, and a little polar bear. Oh. I still find those sets every now and then. I have that polar bear too. That's somewhere. a cute polar bear. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. They have some more cars sets here. We saw one over there. We'll show you guys later in the video. But they have all of these different cars ones, the Dino Co. I just love that. I picked up my first cars sets up at Brick Fair actually at a garage sale so i'm really excited to complete the collection that's so like cool of Mac. i think you could actually put the other cars inside the trailer in the can back. you i believe so maybe <gasps> you can oh that's cool i <laughs> might pick these up today that's oh, so cool another one smoky scrub oh i love it so what's really cool is i've been keeping my eyes on these nixon nights <laughs> uh you know they had them like about a month ago and every time i come in it's like one or two sets you know, get sold. Oh, yeah. So I'm still surprised, like this one's still here. I think it's like an awesome, awesome theme. Again, this is Kim said like, what, this is about 2017? This was like just an awesome time for Lego. Oh, and then y'all check this one out. They have Fort Legorado here from 2002. I would love to have something like this in our Lego city, just like a whole Western cowboy village. Like look at these minifigs here. This is just, you don't see anything like this anymore. We haven't really had like a Western theme. I think the closest we've had was that one movie with Johnny Depp, what was that one called? Uh, Lone Ranger? Yeah. yeah. So Lone Ranger was like the last yeah, Western theme I think I've really right. seen from Lego. I think these sets are totally underrated is the uh, wow. the Angry Birds sets. Super weird, right? Because they were based like off the movie, which is based off of the phone app that people played when they were on the toilet. It's <laughs> super crazy, right? Oh, look, and there's your favorite thing, the, the weird Tigra thing. It still scares me. Oh man, okay, so I love Avatar Last Airbender, and here we have the Fire Nation ship from 2006. This is obviously used, but it comes with all the figures here, like you can see Zuko on the top, Katara, 
angst down here. I really want to get this set, but I just don't know if I can pull the trigger today. Remember, the good news is, is if you want to complete the Avatar set, there's only two sets, so it's really easy to do. Uh, that is a good point. <laughs> okay, maybe it's more doable. But then check this out on the top. They have all of these different modulars. We have the detective's office, the pet store, and then the diner. Yeah, the diner here is one of my favorite modulars. I just think it's really colorful and fun. Like, I love the block letters in the front there. Oh, and then down here, they have the complete Eternals collection. They have all the different sets here with all the figures. These are actually really good figures. I didn't really care too much for the movie. Like I liked it, it was good, but it just didn't stand out to me too much. And then down below we have the buildable Mickey and Minnie. Some cool Star Wars sets here. So first, this one's always just one of my favorite, the Battle of Takodana. I think it's actually a great set. There's a lot of good pieces in it. Um, and it's just such an enigma of a set. So it's selling for $50 right now. I'm pretty sure that was what it was at retail. It might've been like $40. So it just hasn't gone up that much since like 2017, I think is when it came out. And it's kind of nutty because it comes with like a unique figure. Moz is only in this set and it's like a unique mold and everything. So it's just bonkers that it hasn't gone up in price. And then check this out. This is the all time most hated Lego Star Wars set of all time. And it's just because <laughs> Why? Why did they make this? So if you remember in the movie, there's a part where BB-8 like takes over an ATST and it's missing its head because it's under repairs or something. And I guess Lego was like, well, hey, let's make a set about that. So they made the ATST, but they didn't include the head. It's like the worst set ever. I don't, I don't understand why anyone thought that was a good idea. But it does come with BB-8. It does come with BB-8. Yes. I love BB-8 though. And then here we have another. It's kind of funny. We have one from each of the sequel movies. So the uh -huh. uh, Pasina, Pasana, whatever speeder chase, Space Mardi Gras. And that's the, that joke is like they fly now because it shoots out the back of the speeder on a jetpack. So it's just like a funny meme. And then of course we got this one. I think this one just recently retired, but every, you still see it every now and then. So this is the Millennium Falcon from Rise of Skywalker. I always forget the name of the sequel movies, but check this one out. So this one's kind of cool because Emily and I have been watching a lot of Rebels lately and I was telling her about this set and I was like, yeah, you know, Lego had made like a set on Captain Rex's ATT, but look, for some reason, they just didn't bother including their helmets. And you know, I would have had this set already if it did. So in that episode, you know, they definitely wear their helmets a little bit. Maybe not Gregor as much, but Rex definitely puts on his helmet. So it's just a shame that we didn't yeah. get like their helmets, but this is the only way you could get the fifth brother until that Kenobi set that just came out. I don't want the set, I do want the figures. Um, so it's kind of, it's, it's gonna be a no, but it's a hard no or a soft no, right? <laughs> All right, so check this out. So first thing is, uh, I'm, this is funny. So this is the Indiana Jones motorcycle chase. I actually had two of these when I was a kid because it was only like 10 bucks. And it was a good set, you know, it came with all this little thing. I wanted two so that way I can make like a full, uh, like <laughs> crossing guard kind of thing. That's cool. But now check these ones out, Emily. This is the, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. This is, I think around like 2012 or something like that. I can't remember. So these ones are certified used sets. They still hold up really well today. These figures are just incredible. Like the Jack Sparrow, just all the figures in this. I really like this one. This is that scene at the beginning of that uh, movie. I think it was the second movie. He's like running on the island and he's being chased by the natives. So I think it's really <laughs> funny that they That's my favorite face printing. Yeah. It's so good. And then this one's Ooh, cool too. Yeah, it comes with uh, Blackbeard. So this is a pretty cool one. Check this one out too. This is, I believe the second play set that they ever did for the Millennium Falcon. So I think this one might've been like 2000. Or I'm just kind of guessing. I remember I had got this set at Toys R Us when I was a kid because for some reason like it was discounted like insanely like half price and I was like heck yeah and so my mom was like oh wow that is a good deal so we got it. I took it home I figured out why it was discounted. It was missing half the bags. So they got a few of the new sets here too so this one's actually really cool right the uh the farmer's market van so I like that it comes with those corn pieces. I think that's been like the big highlight and look at that little tiny bunny. Look at his oh, little is there a bunny? bunny? Oh, my little bunny. So like the little pigs. Aw, is this the first time we've seen baby pigs? Yes, Oh, that's cute. And the baby lamb as well. Oh, I love it. Actually, I think that sheep piece is new too. Pirates of Barracuda Bay, they said this one just came in last night. They actually have the sales are still like in their original packaging. You know, seeing this set in person, I'm kind of regretting not getting it. It looks really <laughs> yeah. good. The guy in the back, his chest printing is really fun. This is the original Guardians of the Galaxy movie sets, the Milano as well as the uh, the Nowhere Escape. I believe those were the only two sets that came out with Guardians of the Galaxy. And I remember when it was coming out, I was so excited. It's where you got that massive Groot. 
And then as well as you got Milano over here. What's super cool about it is the only way to get Ronin, which uh, I'm surprised I haven't made Ronin again because he like showed up in Captain Marvel and everything. So they have like a pretty big like Hogwarts display here, but it's really confusing because half of the roofs are gray and the other half are green. And I just don't know what to believe. Let us know in the comments, are you team gray? Or green oh. and then looking over at the bulk section right now they have a deal going on bulk lego containers are buy one get one free so definitely check it out we come here all the time to work on our mills and just getting more two by two bricks so it's a really good way to stock up on pieces you're looking for plus i don't think i noticed this before these cups have bricks and mini figs on them that's actually really cool and then over in this fancy container here this is where they always put the really expensive sets we have a duplo set today this is thomas the tank engine which is 180. Kind of crazy to see that price on a Duplo set, but I would love to have Thomas in my city at some point. I would love to see that as like a Lego ideas or something one day. So yeah, something I always kind of overlook is like uh, the little $20 and under used sets over here. And I didn't even realize that sometimes you'll find Star Wars sets here. So like there's the AAT, there's Millennium Falcon, TIE Interceptor, Star Destroyer. I see a few more over there. So that's kind of cool to know. I like the planet. That's really cool. Oh yeah, I love those planets. Wow. Is this Star Wars 2? I didn't realize mm -hmm. this is a yeah, Star Wars set. Yeah, it's Naboo. So for a while they did like the micro fighters or whatever you want to call them, miniatures or something. And they came with like the planet that they were based on. That's I think really there was cool. only like four. It was like Naboo, Tatooine. I think that Death Star was one. Oh look, BB-8. All right, so check this out. This is pretty sick, honestly. So this is the UCS AT-AT. You already know that. But I got it for a pretty good price for $6.25 and you don't even have to build it. <laughs> it's it's kind of nice. Hey, speaking of those planets earlier, check them out. Oh, cool. Wait, which planets are these? Uh, I think the one on the right is Tatooine. I'm guessing the one on the left is Hoth. I don't know. We're way off. My mistake, Ben corrected me. It is actually Bespin over on the right and Camino on the left. <laughs> Oops. All right, so check it out. They actually have the Rancor. Man, that thing has jumped in price, 150. Can't believe wow. they didn't make one for Book of Boba Fett. I'm actually pretty disappointed that we never got one um, because that's such a cool figure. We actually have two, weirdly, but one of ours is missing the claws and the claws go for like 20 to $40 per claw. So I guess we just have like a clawless Rancor. It's kind of a bummer. Something else to note is they have like the Micro Fighter Turbo Tank. If you notice, it's $40 for the Micro Fighter. The reason it's $40 is because that's the only set that comes with the phase one clone trooper besides the calendar from that year. They got no match for droid decals. Check out all those pew, droid decals. Check it out. They got 10 nub over here, but they ain't got no nine nub. What up with that? The one in red is 10 nub, which is like nine nub's cousin. Oh, Get wow. It? Nine nub, 10 nub, uh. 11 nub. So funny. <laughs> so Ross has been busy. I don't know when he did this, but he already grabbed a bunch of plates and some nets that we're going to be picking up today. Oh no. <laughs> it fell. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yo, check it out. They got the tactical droid. Man, this thing is awesome. I love that they put it like in its own bag inside its own seal. So that thing itself runs for like 120 these days. It's bonkers. Oh wow. I really want this set. So I, I do have the tactical droid, but I never got this set. And you know, it's pretty expensive. I wonder if I can just get it without the tactical droid. <laughs> I got the Republic Striker class Starfighter. So I've actually been after this one for a while. I don't care too much about the ship itself, but I'm really excited about these figures. Like the droid here is really cool. So this comes from like the old Republic, like cinematics as well as the game. I never played the game, but I really like her. I've been kind of like learning more about her. Did see her over in the minifig bin though. So maybe I'll just go for that too. So this is the uh, the Dagobah tr uh, training diorama. This is actually my first time seeing it in person. I think it looks great. Uh, we have the set and we just haven't got around to building it yet but I really like all the mud on R2 over there. The oh, that's cool. X-Wing falling out. So that's a, that's a pretty cool set. I think of the dioramas, it's my favorite. I just think they were like pretty expensive. So yeah. at least, you know, you can get it like 20 bucks off here. So that's pretty nice. And you don't have to build it. <laughs> oh man, look at this classic. So this is the 1999 Pod Racer. There was a few renditions of this set. So I actually had the set that just came with Anakin's Pod Racer, but then there was like another version that came with like four or five Pod Racers. And this like super weird figure there. Uh, you see him in Phantom Menace, but he, oh, yeah. he, he makes weird noises. I don't, I don't know what his name is. Yo, check this out. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> I'm terrible. I have this set, still haven't built it. New in box, but it's awesome to see Commander Wolf and one of his guys hanging out there. But check this out. Awesome set, absolutely phenomenal. Plus, I mean, who doesn't love it? Some good old clone boys, right? All right, well, we've been here at Bricks and Minifigs for a while, and uh, I think this video might be dragging on.
Don't forget to subscribe, please. Please subscribe. Quit horsing around. Check it out. So here's some of like uh, the Marvel DC stuff. You go up here, you can actually see they have uh, She-Hulk, the green She-Hulk. And she went up in price a little bit too. Makes sense because her show, I think, came out today, actually. If not, maybe oh. next week. Let's so, go watch it. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. I really like She-Hulk. Oh, man. So this is actually the first time seeing this lizard. I believe it was from Frozen, right? Frozen I'm 2. pretty sure. Yeah, Frozen 2. It's like $8. I'm actually thinking about getting him. I don't know what his name is or anything. It's been forever since I've seen Frozen 2, but it's like one of the only Disney characters that I'm missing at this point. Is its name Sally the Salamander? Maybe. Oh, and no, that's kind of cool. So they have a second one of this car set here. They had one over on that wall. So they have two in stock right now. Tons of cars. Also speaking about Avatar earlier, they also have some custom figures here that look really good. So I've seen most of the stuff in store right now. And the one thing today that I think I'm gonna pick up is the car set. I just really want all the different vehicles. And I love that this little truck, like you can fit the cars inside it. That is perfect. They even have Ninjago City here, but we have this one already. We have Ninjago City Gardens. We're just missing the docks and we never see it come in here. So it's kind of a bummer. Like that's the one we're missing still. Woo, time to check oh. out. You happy, Ross? You got a lot of baggage. <laughs> all right, so we got all of our stuff. I'm really excited. Should we do a car haul? Car haul. Car haul. Car haul. Car haul. Car haul. First up, lots of plates. Plates. No got, bowls. Got a lot of green, got some blue for the ocean, some Ooh. gray for Disney. Wow. Got the whole gambit. Had a Ooh, lot of plate selection uh, today. Got a few of these bad boys here. These nets. Trying to catch some fish. Yes. Some of these pieces for mills. This Technic thing. Why did you get this? I was missing one from my like Mustafar battle from like the 2005 like set where you'd like twist them. And so I asked if they had one, they had one. It's kind of nice. And then I'll just show the instructions because it's easier. But we got this Junior's car set. <laughs> I'm really excited. Look at the cars in here. They're so fun. I want to do Cars World or Cars, cars Land. Radiator Springs. I want to do Radiator Springs in the city. Look at little cars. Wow, I didn't realize how many car sets there were. There's a lot of cars. Check on the back. Look at all those. I have this one and I have this one and I have this one. This one. <laughs> Classic Emily getting juniors and four plus sets. Woo! <laughs> Alrighty y'all, so as always, we had so much fun shopping at Bricks and Minifigs today. We picked up some goodies that I'm really excited about. And this is literally one of our favorite places to come Lego shopping. So definitely check them out next time you're in town. Once again, y'all, they have some really good deals going on right now. Buy one, get one on bulk till the end of the month, 20% off Technic, as well as some other really good Lego deals kind of sprinkled throughout the month. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Also, thank you so much to Bricks and Minifigs and Austin, Texas for sponsoring this video. We really do appreciate it. Thanks y'all and we'll see you next time.